Now what's going on here, Craig? Well here we have um, two Sevcon size 6 um, controllers yep. running with an 80 volt supply. Okay, so the 80 volts worth of batteries under there just uh, mimicking what we're going to have in the vehicle? Is Electric that? vehicle, that's yep. right, yeah. Okay. And it would act, it's actually configured to drive two similar motors, although this one is here as a, for testing only. Yeah. Um, it's running with two uh, ME triple one five motors. So that's an ME triple one five. Yeah. From EV power. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see here we have um, a CAN bus connection between the two controllers, and this one's acting as the master, and this sends information to the slave to control the second motor. So the, the vehicle, are these for either side of the vehicle or front and back or? Yeah, we've got one motor configured um, for left hand and one for right hand. Yeah. So this is configured to turn in opposite directions. Okay. Yeah. As they appear there, so they went on either side of the vehicle. Yeah. Um, It'd be a bit of a problem if they both turned in the same direction. Yeah, you'd be going around in circles, yeah. So when you say master and slave, what's going on with the electrically? I mean, they're obviously not mechanically linked, they're just electrically linked. Yeah, this one is um, taking all the inputs from uh, things such as a throttle and forward reverse switch. So that's got all your analog inputs going in, yeah? Yeah, that's right. And then also the digital input for the um, drivability mode, for normal or eco mode. And then that then translates that to the slave controller to coordinate both motors running according okay. to the inputs to the master. So if the, if the vehicle was going straight and level, they'd be uh, essentially doing exactly the same thing, but you've got, like a, you're going around a corner, so what's happening there? Um, they're running at the same speed around the corner. Okay. Oh, they're running at differential speeds, aren't they? But because, so it's, it's, because it's torque mode. Yes. So they're both getting the same amount of torque, but they can run at different speeds. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's all this gear here? You've got, obviously got like a, a dashboard set up. Yeah, this is really um, just to um, make it easy to um, work with the product. And this would then ultimately be taken and fitted in the vehicle. Okay, so you've got an ignition switch, forward reverse switch. Can I turn that? Uh, yes. yes. So forward reverse. Yeah. Um, what's that? That's the brake regeneration. Okay, it's so the regen point. Yeah. So that's mimicking another one of these, is it? So it's a 0 to 5 volt. It is, so yeah. Also, you, right. you could effectively have another one of these on your. This is an accelerator pot, isn't it? Yes. So you can have one of them on your brake pedal doing the same thing. So effectively, you're going to have two of these in the vehicle? Yeah, the, the, the regen pot, just to take over from Craig a little bit, um, yeah. the regen pot, as we've set it up now, can act as a neutral braking regen. Um, so it, 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 you can adjust it so that when you take your foot off the throttle, it gives you a certain amount of engine braking. So that mimics a petrol engine. You know, it's nice in an electric vehicle to have that, isn't it? That exactly. feeling that you're exactly. slowing down when you yep. take your foot off the accelerator. Exactly. Yeah. You could configure it to go onto like a brake type pedal as well. Um, but the, as we've set it up, the, the priority is for drive. So if you had your foot, all, foot on the throttle and the brake at the same time, it would have throttle priority. Yeah. <laughs> so so what's this switch? Take it away, Craig. This is um, to s select different dri driving modes, um, normal or eco mode. So it's two different um, profiles for uh, throttle response and so on. So you have uh, like a normal mode and then maybe have a slower mode, your economical mode. Yeah. And you've got your throttle pot and then this is a display. Yeah, display showing you. That's TV display, and I can switch on with ignition key, and you'll be able to see the display start up. Yeah. Subcon. And this this wiring harness, as it as it is configured, so that um, display connection is there um, in all cases. So a customer can add that display later on. Yeah, so that's our standard wiring harness, isn't it? It has a, has a connection for the clear view, so you can just plug it straight in. So all this has become a standard wiring harness, and all, 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 this, right, yeah. all this sort of yeah. this part of it. I mean, this is actually, because we're on the test bench here, this is actually a little bit more complicated than it normally would be, just because we've got access to different inputs yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. But the, this is the finished article as it goes out to the customer, and both would look very much like that. Yeah. So on the clear view, you asked about the display. We've got display of the um, um, forward, forward and reverse. That's saying D highlighted, N highlighted. 
Our height, which is reverse. Yeah? Drive virtual reverse, that's right. Yeah. So can we see the motor running? Can we see sure it running? can. Yeah. So I'm just going to um, put it into, into drive and forward. Yeah. And then through the throttle. So you can see you can see that hunting there, the the, the master motor, partly um, because it's not the, actually the correct motor for the setup. We don't have a second ME triple one five, but partly. Um, did you want to explain that bit, Craig? Um, what bit? <laughs> <laughs> the bit about the motor hunting, that you know. That, oh. When, when you're accelerating, you can see the motor doesn't accelerate smoothly, and when you go back to idle, you can see the motor hunting around zero RPM. I, um, are you relating to the, um, the gains? Yes. The, damp the damping of the um, change in um, the gains on the motor. Yes. So yep. once it's under load, it's going to smooth that. Exactly. So there's yeah. some sort of inertia behind it, or obviously it needs one of these motors there, but once you fix that, does it need inertia? Well, once you've got, yeah, once you got the, the loads of the vehicle yeah. um, working against the motor. Yeah. Yes, so because you, once you've got a, a tyre on it, yeah. if, if you put just a wheel on it, it would stop that hunting. Right. Um, but we could smooth it out so that it doesn't hunt at all, yeah. but then the performance would be much reduced Maybe on the, on the, the motor. One thing for the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the bench, we accept a bit of this kind of hunting because yeah. we know that the motors are unloaded. So you've obviously got a, a big on-off red button here that's just turning off your battery supply, your power supply. Yep. Is that right? And that's, that's your it. main contactor, which is just... Um, oh, that one's not active at the minute. Okay. This is the contact to the taxi. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's a good point because we've only got one contactor for the two controllers, which is another important uh, point. Uh, you don't need one contactor per controller. And then you've got a shunt there. Is that in the circuit? Yeah, you've got a shunt. Oh, uh, that's not. That's no, just a connection just point. A connection yeah. Point. Yeah. yeah, I think we've. Is, is that covered everything? Is there anything else you wanted to um, talk about? No, it's good. And then the other things you might show the um, the display changes on the display with the with the rev counter and the battery and the, the current usage. Yep. Going forward. <laughs> It's obviously not using much current, but it would be under under vehicle under load. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Great. Okay.